Hey, I found a corpse. I think it's one of your people. We appreciate you letting us know. Thank you. Oh, God. <sighs>
Jazeera, I gotta ask, why the hell do you want bolter livers? Those damn filthy bolters. They keep desecrating the graves of our beloved. They eat the corpses we've laid out for the wind to take. Okay, but the livers? For heaven's sake, don't they teach you anything in the city? It's about the smell. You can use it to attract more of the same kind. It's the thremo, thesmo. The pheromones. Yes, that's what I said. Or could you use it to scare them off? And that's what I wanted to say. You learn fast, boy. Okay, so these bolters are attracted to fresh bodies you, what, leave for the wind? Yes. If you see a bolter, just run it over with your car, okay? That'd be much appreciated. And remember about the livers. Hey, Jazeer. Those bandits who took over Aircon's farm. Aren't you afraid they're gonna target you guys next? Here we can handle them, but we're no soldiers. I won't send people to die out there. Well, your set of skills might come in handy in this situation. Just talk to Eski. She'll explain the kind of scum you'll be dealing with. And maybe try to find Polat too. He used to work at Aircom's farm. 
Maybe he'll have something useful to tell you. Jazeera, who drew this? Oh, that's not important. The kid keeps drawing them. I keep throwing them away. Well, but what's it about? Something the kid's hung up on. His mother took a job in Haran before the outbreak, left him with his grandparents. She was supposed to send him a gift, I guess. But you know what happened. It doesn't matter. Just toss it. So this whole time, the kid's been waiting on a present? Christ. Sad, I know. But the sooner he gets used to being sad, the better. This here got you a bolter, Liver. I... <gasps> the hell are you doing? Get away from me with that stink! There's a barrel behind the barn. Go put it there. Hey, Polar, I'm thinking about heading to Erkan's farm. You're crazy, mister. That's suicide. Hey, let me be the judge of that. Besides, the bandits might target this place next. Let them fucking try. After what they did to that girl, there won't be no mercy. Well, if you feel that way, then why wait? Why not take revenge right now? Don't get all high and mighty with me, mister. We are angry, true, but we are not crazy. You want to get yourself killed? I think I can handle some thugs with guns. I heard you might be able to help me. Jazeera said you worked at that farm? Work there I did, true. If you really do want to go there, follow the wall and go east of the entrance. There's a hole in that high wall. You could probably use it to sneak in. Kid, I gotta drop by the post office so I could uh, check and see if your package is there. Do you know what's inside? A present? From Mommy? She wrote and said she was sending me a surprise present. She's coming back after I get it too. And she can play with me again. Oh, God, the smell. <laughs> okay, it's in the barrel. Thank you. And please, if you get more, just leave them in the barrel. That stink is just unbearable. Hey, so you know, Jazir, who's this Sabat? He was supposed to get you guys some medicine? Yes, yes he was. He was bringing us fresh herbs every single week. But we haven't heard from him for too long now. 
I know he's probably dead, but we can't be sure. You don't know the man. He wanted to become one of the Faceless. He wouldn't let himself get killed easily. Well, any idea where I should look for him then? And what about those fevers? You still need some herbs, right? He lived in a hut out on that rocky island. And yes, he always kept medicine there. Just be careful. If something's got to sap it, it's no laughing matter. But tell me about this Sabic guy. Before the outbreak, what was his job? He was a forest ranger, a proud and brave man. Always said he felt better in the company of animals than people. Yeah, I think I know the type. So he was a natural fit for the faceless? No, that idea came later. He wasn't a believer at first. It was only when he received the mother's blessing that he decided to help her achieve her goals however he could. And that's when he started bringing you medicine? Taking care of some of the needs of our community, yes. And he still lived in the hut? That's, that's quite a commute, especially on foot. And that's what was special about Sabbath. He just wasn't afraid. Not of monsters. Not of the dark, even. He wandered around in the night as if it were nothing special. Thin line between bravery and madness, huh? Hey, Eski, I've... Oh. That's, uh... That's Erkan's daughter, right? No. That's not her. That's what's left of her. She was the happiest person I'd ever known, but now... I'm sorry, but... She's, uh... Conscious, right? Conscious, yes. But the longer she lies there, the more I feel like she just doesn't want to live anymore. When she was still speaking, she told me they hurt her. And her mother. They shot her brother in the face, Kyle. Made her watch. All right, I'll take care of it. They won't hurt anyone else. Yeah, of course. Sorry. I just think I've heard it too many times before.
bless you. And let me reward you for what you did. I told them not all strangers were bad. Now, maybe they'll listen.
Step closer and I'll turn your head into puddle.
Hello. <laughs> what I have for sale you can't find on a farm. to decide, isn't it? Excuse me, you, uh, you the owner here? Hey, hey, Nori, it's all right, buddy. Here you go. I'm Bilal. Uh, that's Nori, my brother. Kyle Crane. Pleasure to... Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. So, what can I do for you, Kyle? Well, I, I heard the locals might need a hand with a few things. Oh, yeah, Jazir told me you'd come. I heard all about you. Listen, I, I, I'm just trying to help the people back in the city. Hey, helping the infected? You don't have to explain that to me. I get it. My bro got bitten about two months ago. Wait, two months? And he, and he hasn't turned? I couldn't believe it either, but hey, there he is, still in working order, unlike this wreck. Just take a look at the board over there. Jasir ain't lying. We could use plenty of help. And man, I'm envious of your ride. It's the only working vehicle I've seen for a while. Tell you what, if you bring it back here and let me look inside from time to time, I'll give it some tuning up, make it even sweeter. If you want to be helpful in the long run, take good care of it. I'm not exactly a mechanic. Then it's a good thing you're talking to me. Here's what you do. It'll be a long drive, but I bet my left hand it'll be worth it. There's a Silas truck stranded on a highway. Go give it a once-over, and if you find any useful parts, bring them to me. Hey, Bilal. Jazir says you can tell me why the power's down all over the place. We're working on the problem. You want to help us out with it? So, what do I have to do? First off, get this fuse to Ali at the plant. He can't do shit without it. Once you get the fuse to him, we'll get the power back. If he can keep from electrocuting himself, I mean. Guy thinks safety precautions are for pussies. I did see a guy trying to dig a broken light bulb out of the socket with a steel screwdriver while the power was on. <laughs> yep. Sounds like Ali. He means well, anyway. So, listen, friend. Two things need to happen. One, like I said, get him this fuse. Two, we need a working insulator. Or the fuse blows as soon as he flips the switch. He says the old ones will hold, but fuck me if I believe him. Thanks, man. This is exactly what we needed.
Hey, Bilal, this note about the town. What's this danger the Faceless are warning people about? <sighs> no idea, man. We don't go into the town anymore. People who went into Scavenge say there's demons in there. I know we've got zombies to deal with, but demons? What the hell? Seriously, no clue. I haven't been there in a while. Don't know what it's about or what they're trying to resolve. But it would help you guys out if the town got safer, right? Uh, well, yeah. We didn't have a chance to get anything out of there after the outbreak. But just so you know, the military ran everybody out of there before any infected even showed up. And you think it might have been related to this demons thing? <sighs> Could be, man. Could be. We won't know until the Faceless get it all under control, though. Races? Well, uh, what's the deal with this racing stuff? I've seen some weird posters. Oh, man. Uh, I miss a good engine's roar more than running water these days. I was a champion once, you know? Five times, back to back. But hey, you just gave me a brilliant idea. Listen, I'm going fucking insane in this place. Everyone's depressed all the damn time. Let's have fun for once, huh? What do you mean? Let's set some engines on fire, man. I have it all figured out. You'll be the next champion. Well, I guess a little distraction would be welcome. Right. So, remember to fuel and repair your ride, and then just drive to the beach outside town. Give me a sign when you're near the pizza place, okay?